What's going on? So, if you saw my video the other day about the um, the box that I built, my uh, my miter saws in there, um, and of course I've got the wheels, so it's it's mobile. Okay. Now what I did is I I just added. You can see there's the two latches up there. The box only goes to here, and I've got a little storage compartment in there and it latches on here okay now these latches were not meant to be configured this way they're meant to be configured like like you see there okay you can see I've also got handles on the top section handles on the bottom section both sides okay so when I un unclip it here and I unclip it on this side here, I can actually pull this whole piece off and get to my saw. Okay, I had to modify these latches somewhat. I'm not gonna be opening this up because if you see if you see my other video, you know essentially what this looks like. Um and I didn't use punches like I should have. You can see it's crooked because I didn't use punches. But and then I, I I put a piano hinge in. I just cut that down. And what I did with the piano hinge is I used um everything, all this hardware except for these screws here. The these are also screwed into the wood, but you can see maybe. But you can see these uh these are all everything screws and nuts okay just like that okay and washers of course um, except for this whole hinge everything is screwed right into the wood these two are screwed right into the wood I don't feel very confident about putting pressure on anything and screwing it right into the wood if it's if this is the only piece of wood that's holding it um, so what I did is I started the screw I dipped it in glue and then I so I've got glue on all the screws that have gone into the wood and here too okay you can see it there so and then the other you can see I got like my, my multi tool and my my little palm sander um, I've got my belt sander back there uh, I've got uh, my jigsaw back there. It's just a little storage compartment. Keep all my tools up and out of the way. Okay. If if I was concerned about this going on a job site, I probably would have made it a little more sturdy, a little more industrial, a little more square. You can see there's there's cracks back there. Um, but you know it's it's going to be in my garage, and I made everything out of a circular saw. I, you know, I, I, I could have sanded it down, but, you know, hey, whatever. And then the other thing you can see here, I ran out of wood. Okay. I ran out of wood. And so what I did, same thing. Dipped the screws in glue. Glued right. I just, I got a, a piece of a scrap here. And I've got these two pieces held together. I put, I put some glue right here right here let's say right here and right here okay and then of course I screwed them all in I got six screws on each side um and as far as these go you can kind of see I did a little bit of grinding um, because let's look at this one here pop this off okay and what, what I like about these is you can actually, they're threaded, so you can actually adjust them. Um, the easiest way for me to do it was I kind of put it up in place like that, and I drilled this hole, I mounted it, and then I dropped this down, and I drilled this hole. And of course, these were easy to do too. But you can see, let me see if I can turn this box around, get a better look at that. So you can see what it looks like. It's meant to 
not for a 90 it's meant for a straight configuration so oh so I, I did i did have to modify like i said i had to modify sorry i'm trying to latch this back down i did have to modify this and this in order for it to work the way I didn't, I didn't even, when I, when I got the latches, this is not what I was intending to do. Um, the, I think the biggest thing that upset me about both of these latches and this, um, both of the handles is it doesn't cover, it doesn't really tell you what size hole it is. So you can see I got some uh, 832 by, th I got three quarter length. That that worked perfect for me. Of course, if you're using a thicker material, you're gonna want longer screws. But that's what I got for me. That's what worked great for me. Um, so I just wanted to show you uh, what I did um, in addition to the box that you if you saw the other video, the, the box that you saw, and it's great, I just just shut it up. I'll clear some room under the bench, and this can sit right there. I got to clean some of this stuff up. I've got to clean my entire garage. Obviously, you can see that. Um, but, yeah, so one step at a time, and this just gets me a little bit closer. So, again... Um, oh, and what I was saying though is, yeah, I ran out of wood here, so I used my I used some scrap wood and I cut that's it's 24 inches, so I just cut it 12, and you can see I didn't do a very good job. The top piece is just Brad nailed together. The bottom piece I've got secured with something like this, where it's got the uh, it's got a piece of block and and it supported it's screwed in from this side is screwed into the block as well as the bottom is screwed into the block i did something similar on the bottom piece uh if you haven't seen that video go ahead and check it out you you can see um and you can see my uh my red factory edge went away i had to sand it down because this was sticking out too far so use my belt sanders to 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 get that so that i could get I mean, it still sticks out a smidge, but I've just seen it before. It was horrible. Um, so, anyways, uh, yeah, if you've got the wood at home and you, you know you're trying to clean stuff up, maybe maybe some of these ideas help you because we've got the coronavirus going on right now, and I'm fortunate. I still am able to go out and work, although today is Friday. I did get furloughed today. But I will be back to work on Monday. But this is just something to, uh, you know, give you something to do. Um, I happen to have, I, don't, I didn't cover this in the last video, those casters, those actually came from this toolbox that I bought from Walmart. It was reconditioned or however that works out. And uh, I didn't want the sliding on one side and fixed on the other. So what I ended up doing is I went to Harbor Freight and I got four swiveling casters. These are like five inch and these I think are like six inch. So I had the casters, I put them to use. So uh, if you let, know anyone who, who might like this video, give them some inspiration. Um, please go ahead and, you know, pass it along. Give it a thumbs up. Um, if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and feel free to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up, get any comments, questions, why did I do that? Whatever. So, uh, that's it for now. Um, again, I'll be posting more videos on different content in the future. I just recorded a video on my anode rod for my water heater. So no specific topics. So, um, Although I am an alarm guy, if you have alarm questions, hit those videos up. If you have any more videos that you want me to make on the alarm side, give me a comment or question. 
Otherwise, until the next time, goodbye.